Good morning, fishy folks. <clears throat> Saturday morning, got down here about 7 a.m., maybe 7.15. Uh, have a shit ton of work to do. Oh, part of my French. You can see the beginnings of water changes. Uh, what I've done so far is gone through all the middle row where there aren't many fry. Clean the bottom. You can see I gotta fix the lid. I got pothos in the tank. Uh, believe it or not, I did clean this one, but kind of hard to do. Anyway, uh, then I came around back and someone mentioned uh, drift loops from my previous video. So I wanted to neaten this up. I'm not done, you know, I still have to trim the tails off, but uh, I mounted this out of the way. It was just hanging here. Um, I moved this extension up out of the way, much less chance of getting wet. I secured the pump core to this pipe. I was actually gonna do it to here and I went, I'm probably gonna cut this, so. Uh, I do have to secure this green um, extension cord a little better. See how it's hanging, yeah, so fix that. Um, also, I moved the timer. <clears throat> so essentially, I, I think, you know, if water drips on any of these wires, it'll go down to the low point and drip off, whereas the electrical part is up higher. So that's the purpose of that. I also can't believe I had this like this, this extension cord. I had just resting right here. What the heck was I thinking? So I just secured it up here, up out of the way. Shouldn't, when I get these tanks plumbed uh, in a couple months probably, should be okay. It shouldn't bother those tanks. But this way it's up out of the way. Um, actually now that I'm thinking about this, when I plumb these tanks, I will figure something out for this because I'm not gonna like it there. But for now, it's okay. All right. Back on to maintenance. I wish I had some of that cool music that uh, Cord from Aquarium Co-op has in his videos and I could edit it and you could see me walk in, you know, and move in. But uh, I don't, I'm not that smart. I'm not that good. I don't have that kind of equipment. So I'm just going to pause it here. All right. Well, more carnage on the floor. Uh, we got most of the top tanks done. The only tank I didn't take any water out of was that one with the new koi fry, koi sortel fry. <coughs> this tank has nothing in it, but before I left, I think I took the filter out of it to put in one of the uh, angel fry tanks, and uh, there was no filter, so there was no very little movement in it. So before I left last week, I uh, added that filter to it just so there's movement, cleared the water up, but there was still a lot of gunk on the bottom. So I cleaned it up. So now we're filling the sump. We've put a triple dose of safe into the sump and started adding water. Water's a little warm that I'm adding. Um, and that's simply because it takes so long to heat up water. You know, 500 gallons of water with, you know, a 300 watt or 400 watt, whatever I have, uh, heater. Um, it's not so bad now. There's no AC down here. Uh, there's no heat down here. I do have those blankets to keep the heat in. I do need to get myself a thermometer C. I I mean, I'm sweating, but I'm a fat guy and I've been working, so maybe that's why I'm sweating. Anyway, um, so now I'm going to fill the sump. <clears throat> Actually, I'm going to plug the sump in and start filling the tanks and keep filling the sump with fresh water because I drained, I don't know, let's see, I drained say 40 out of there, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, I don't know, I drained about 200 gallons of water. Um, I may want to do some more later, but I'm going to treat actually, I'm going to treat and then in a couple days treat. You don't know what I'm talking about, do you? I'm going to treat for internal parasites again. Um, I had one fish in here that I took uh, yesterday's fry fry. Oh, what the fruit is that? 
Huh. Anyway, I showed a picture of a female uh, neon sword tail and I think that guy, right? That girl, right? Where is she? Right there. And someone mentioned internal parasites and uh, then I saw that, which turns out it's just a rubber band. <laughs> But uh, I did have someone else mention internal parasites for some of these um, endlers. I saw them to my local fish store and the customer that bought them said they saw what appeared to be internal parasites and got rid of all of the fish that he bought, that she, or the customer bought from the local fish store. So here we go. Pumps on, I gotta do something with this cable. And then the pump will start feeding the upper, and that'll drain into the middle, which will drain into the lower. Uh, I am actually uh, adding, I did drain this tank a little bit. Um, you can see the leaf litter residue. And this one takes a while to fill up because it's so big, so I'll fill these separately, <clears throat> you know, with my old system. Um, this temperature was up to 87, I think. 87 and change so uh, all right I'll come back when I'm done I think well something went wrong filling the tanks and all of a sudden I hear water pouring on the floor let's investigate and this thing was overflowing but the last I checked barely any water came out of here so I don't know I can't really check because I, have, I need two hands and I don't want to get my phone wet. Why? Because I like my phone. Speaking of phones, uh, I'm going to go look at an iPhone 7 today. If they have one, I will be trading it in so I have more memory and a better camera. That's a lie. I just need more memory so I can play more games. Ha <laughs> ha. All right. I'm going to investigate. I will let you know. Well, that was definitely a carcass of a dead fish. Um. That's, I think that's eight I lost while I was gone. Including a German blue ram that's just missing. I talked to my son this morning and he said, no, he, he didn't see any dead fish, especially a ram, because he knows how much I like him. So, uh, I don't know what happened, I'm missing one. It's gone. I don't know that rams are jumpers, and I mean, this is one of the few tanks that has a, a pretty secure lid, but anyway. Uh, tanks are starting to fill up. Um, <clears throat> my issue up here was somehow I gained like a hundred horsepower in the pump. I, I don't know, maybe the pump was the intake was blocked or something was blocking the line up there because I had that that end one on full and it was just dribbling out okay a couple hours later after my little guy's soccer game most of the floor is dry so I like being on a concrete slab so I got some water over here and over here I still haven't fixed this uh, all the tanks are full um, and my sump was pretty empty and we have a leak. Ah, there's the leak. Fudge. See, this one happens. Uh. So what happened was, you know, I had all the water pressure set. Great for all the tanks, except this one. I turned on full blast so I could fill the tanks quicker and then at the end I I sort of you know put it to where I thought it should be except I overflowed the tank I hate when that happens but it's part of having a fish room water on the floor <clears throat> so we have this towel here from a leak from last week uh, that was heavy because there's water in it. So hold on, bear with me. Uh, okay. That'll soak up some of that water. We got water going back in the sump. 
the sump was pretty low. I just thought, you know, I had to add more water to the tanks than I had in the sump originally. Um, so realistically, your, if you have a sump, you should, uh, when the sump, if, if you lose power um, and the sump starts to drain, it should drain to the top of the sump and you shouldn't spill any. Well, my sump's not big enough for that and I'm on a slab, so it's not that big a deal for me if I leak water. But So I fill my sump up uh, quite a bit. Um, and as you can see, I'm putting water straight into the sump. I didn't add any dechlorinator yet because safe, you know, I just added triple safe, triple the amount of safe that I needed to, and I have low chlorine content. So what I need to do is uh, is add my meds. So let's let's figure that out, shall we? For internal parasites, I have Prazipro. Why? Um, that's what I bought when I first set up my my quarantine program. I think I'm going to switch to General Cure um, when this runs out, but I have at least one more, maybe even two more doses of this, so I'll probably order General Cure. So let's see what it says. Shake vigorously. Measure liquid prazi at the rate of one teaspoon per 20 gallons of water. One teaspoon per 20 gallons of water to be treated. One fluid ounce per 120 gallons. I have about 500 gallons, so I need four fluid ounces, a little more, four and a half fluid ounces. So I'm gonna go five ounces, and uh, I'm gonna treat. So while I pour that, I'm gonna put you guys on hold for a second. So we have this delicious concoction, five fluid ounces. I got this glass, actually I bought a, I actually bought that 30 gallon tank. Is it that one? It might be the one down there. Anyway, I bought a 30 gallon tank for like 15 bucks a couple months ago and I had this and a filter and anyway. Now we're just gonna pour this in the sump. I'm actually gonna pour some in the tank with the neons, neon uh, sore tails directly. This will get through the whole system. It'll take a little while, but I want to get that tank directly. Um, so they get the most contact, the fastest. There might be no difference in me doing this. There may be, I don't know, but this is going to make me feel better. All right, so we pour it in. Just going to wash this out. See, get all the good stuff out. See there's residue, so I gotta wash this when I'm done. Uh, while that is filling, we can see our angel fry over here. Swimming nice. You can still see their full orange bellies. And we got the fry in there. I mean the eggs in there. We'll see what happens. Alright. Let's check on the sump. Sump looks good. This is my water setup. Now, let's look at the sump, guys. So you can see how high the sump is. If that pump, for some reason I lose power, water's going all over the floor. About, I would say about 50 gallons of water will go on the floor. Will it suck? Yes. Do I have a shot back and a floor drain? Yes. Okay, so. What else do we need to do? After every water change, we have to add fertilizer. Because I have plants and I like them to grow. What do I use? You guys know. I use Aquarium Co-op Easy Green. Why? It's easy. And it's cost effective. And it works. More, most importantly, it works. This looks like it's about to overflow. And what the fruit? I didn't change the flow. Oh, you know what? But that flow changed. So, here's what we do. We'll lower the, and we'll actually open that up. And this actually drains right into there. You can hear it. There we go. Now there is fry in here. So we don't want any fry to get sucked up, but 
we gotta lower that yeah that's what happened that one up there is getting more flow which means this one is getting more flow so we'll just we'll keep that like that we'll get it down a little bit and we'll put our this is actually backwards can you see that I put this one on backwards pink side out should be white side out so I got to change that we'll lower that like that hopefully that'll take care of uh, my overflow problem for now because I've got a ton of stuff to do where was I easy green fertilizer so here's how I dose my fertilizer because I can't really dose for 500 gallons each tank it's one pump per 20 per gallon sorry that was my George from home aquatics imitation it was it is one pump per 10 gallons so I do one pump per 10 gallons for whatever tank has plants so this tank would be two two Two. That one doesn't have any. That one's got a little. Two, two. Uh, down here, this is a 30. One, two, three. This one's got a little. It's a 50, but I'm going to do three. One, two, three. And then we got up here 20. This one I think is a 25, but we do three pumps. And then all these just get one. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 bam! See how easy that was? What was that? One minute and I fertilized, less than a minute, and I fertilized one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one tanks. Doesn't get much easier than that, folks. Alright, so now I'm not gonna bore you by watching everything for a little while. Probably not long enough because I do have a lot to do. Um, so, that fish concerns me. I think she'll be dead tomorrow. I did see her swim a little bit, but she looks like. Let's look close. Looks like we got an issue here. Look at her. Yeah. So, it looks like she'll be dead. Got something coming out of her hindquarters a parasite or I don't know anywho uh, we treated the tanks we will repeat the process in I think hey guys uh, it's uh, Sunday morning sort of just filming what what's going on with the tanks with the fish room uh, sorry that was Nico. came down and found another dead guppy Not too happy. Uh, let's see, I just fed a little bit. Gotta get get her out of there. Uh, water parameters are so good. Uh, they were like 0, 0, 30, between 30 and 40 yesterday, uh, or Friday when I checked. Then yesterday I did that big water change and it came down to uh, maybe 0, 0, 020. Uh, so, I'm gonna let this, let the medicine go for a couple days. The Prazi Pro, I have one more dose left of Prazi. I'll probably feed that, feed that, treat with that. And uh, then I'm either gonna go with uh, some stronger stuff like Cat Dewormer or uh, General Cure. Now, I don't know why she died, but, um, it looks like there's a ton more fry and, and guppies do you know after they give birth a lot it's very stressful they do they can die that happens you know so I don't know what if this has anything to do with giving birth or internal parasites or something else going on um, fact of the matter is I got to do something uh, I told my local fish store I will not be selling any fish to him until I get this taken care of and of course he understands and actually was pretty appreciative that I you know told him ahead of time and uh, I said you know this is a, a relationship if it I'm not gonna you know purposely sell you something that's gonna affect you and your that's gonna affect you and your customer so so uh, he was pretty happy I told him and and uh, you know 
<clears throat> try to keep a good relationship. It's very important, especially with Yoko Fister. Whether you sell fish or not, it's important. Make a move. All right, guys. Uh, I think that's going to do it for today. I have some other things to do. Have a great day. I'll, hopefully, I'll be able to give you an update later in the week.